Hi my friends, in this video we are going to examine the dunder or magic methods in a little more detail. We actually introduced these dunder methods in the previous video, but we can say that this is bigger subject than we saw in the previous video. Look, as you can see on the screen, there are approximately uh, 54 dunder methods. Now let's try to examine some of them. First, I want to sum two integers. I will just do it in a, a print function 3 plus 5. If I run it, I got the result. Now let's try to understand what is actually going on in the background when I run this. We have a class called int and uh, in the background and uh, there are some dunder methods which handles the addition operation in this class that we will see in a second it also works the same for the str or other data objects for example when we want to add two strings python puts them side by side let me show you a plus b if I run it, Python applies a different methods. The methods, I mean a different behavior for a different data types. If we go back to our previous integer example, what actually happens in the background is something as follows. Let me show you again. As I said, we have an int class and inside this class, we have a method called add. When we try to add 3 to 5, this method works. It works like that. Let me show you the first parameter, the first parameter, the second, and the second. If I run it, we got the same result. Same goes for string. So let me show you it. str and the, the same method works a plus b look the same result if we define an add method in our own class we can specify how it should behave when addition is taking place in this way let's create our own class and try to understand it better we are going to create our own class by inheriting the normal int class. I just write class my integer and I am going to inherit the int class. If you didn't watch the inheritance video, you should watch it to, to understand what I am doing here. But to explain briefly, since I have inherited all the properties of the int class came to this class so i can do the same thing i do on the int class let's see what i mean i will just write my class my integer and then the add method 3 5 let's run it i will remove it for now let's run it again i got the result the same result nothing changed but let's say we are developing a custom application and uh, i want to make this addition more specific i want to square the numbers i have written here and they get the sum of them you may ask why we would want to do such a thing but this is just an example to to give you an idea as an example of how to use dunder, I mean the magic methods. So let's go back to the, our class, the custom class, and uh, override the add method. The first parameter and the second parameter. You can write anything. You you know that. So I'm not. I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to write self double asterisk which calculate the square of the number and then I will add other 
double asterisk this function will return their total if I run it I call this method and at this time I will get different result because I changed the behavior of this method so let's see look at the terminal we got the different result this time if we try to make an example about all the dunder methods we need to shoot a separate video series for them but I think uh, you will understand better if I make a few more examples and I'm going to do them on, on, the, on the other class we were working since our first video so let's go back to the, our uh, class you remember the class you know we can access all the attributes in this way I will clean my terminal the, run it again I access the model attribute but if I delete the attribute name and uh, if I put parentheses what happens I run it I got an error it means we can't call instance if we return to our class and they specify what to do when when the instances are called we can specify it in this way we will just write call the self we can specify what to do when an instance is called I mean we can just return a message for now you called this instance we can write something like that this time if I run it this method we said here will work so let's see look at the terminal this expression I wrote here in the terminal I want to continue the question is can we determine what to do when an instance is deleted actually we can let me show you we can just write del and uh, this will work when we delete an instance we can just print you deleted me if I delete it I save it and run it again look at the terminal this time the method I specified here worked when I delete this instance I just want to make one more example let's suppose that we want to compare cars and uh, you know we can use a call operator we can also customize this a call operator for that class and de determine which way a car is equal to each other let's see that I just go back to class while we are trying to get if two objects are equal to each other this method works the, the, we need to get one more uh, argument here to compare so I want to compare the two instances by their kilowatts if their kilowatts are equal to each other I want this uh, method return true if not false so let's do that if self dot kilowatts equal to other instance kilowatts I will just copy it if they are equal to each other return true if not return false from now on if we use the equals operator for two instances this method will run let's see that I'm going to create one more instance quickly just write car2 impala black the 200 
the only thing that this function checks their kilowatts not the uh, model not the color only the kilowatts if their kilowatts uh, are equal to each other this will return true so let's see that i'm going to delete the del and then let's write car1 equal to car2 i save it and i run it this result false but if i change the kilowatts and the, they are equal to each other now if i run it i got the result true the last thing i want to mention is this outputs you deleted me you can wonder uh, why we see these outputs we didn't write anything like that you can think car one you can think that we didn't write anything like that but why this method works actually this is one of the features of python python deletes the variables after we used I hope you have an idea about Thunder methods. I will end the video here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.